to wash their hands. You really should. Is that a good intro? Let's be real here, most soap dispensers, not cute. Ew, it's plastic. That's gross. But would you wash your hands more if you had a mason jar soap dispenser? I bet that you would. I, I would do. You would. So we're going to show you how to make one. Yeah, so today we made a mason jar soap dispenser, which is pretty much just a soap dispenser made a mason jar. But we're going to show you how to do that. All right, so these are some of the things you're going to need for this DIY. So we can take off the lid, because we're going to start with painting the bottom part of our mason jar. And we're going to need our mason jar, some masking tape, a scrap sheet of paper, and frosted glass spray. And outside, what we're going to do is take our piece of scrap paper, hopefully it has a straight edge, and lay that around the mason jar. And we're going to tape that down all the way around the mason jar to create a really crisp edge. Tape that all the way around the mason jar. Once that's done, you can go ahead and take your frosted glass spray paint. This stuff is so cool. It has to develop, so you spray it on, leave it for a couple minutes, and then it turns all nice and frosty. Make sure you do a really light coat. Once that's done, you can go ahead and peel off your tape and scrap paper. And look at that. Half frosty, half not frosty. Here's my awkward hand showing you that it's frosty. All right, so back inside, we are taking a dollar store soap dispenser and just taking off the lid part. This one is already broken when we bought it, so we're not really wasting anything. And we're going to cut a hole just as big as our straw or this little plastic piece up here. So marking that out on our lid, we're going to start perforating it with a nail. So we're gonna hammer a whole bunch of holes around in a circle, kind of making like a perforated circle so that we can pop out the middle. And after we've done a circle of nail holes, it's gonna look like this. And then we can just take some pliers and pop out the middle part. Like so. And then if your hole is not big enough or you wanna smooth, in, smooth down the edges, we're just going to pull it back like this. And once that's done, we are just flattening all the sharp edges. Next, we need to glue it, and we're using Gorilla Glue, so it works by attaching to a damp surface, so we're just using a wet paper towel to damp our area that we're gonna be gluing. And this glue is awesome because it's also waterproof. So we're just gonna lightly go around the soap dispensing parts, just where it's gonna be attaching to the lid. And once that's all on, you're going to just slip it into your lid and push it down tight. And we just used a toothpick to remove any excess and clean it up a bit. And you're supposed to let this clamp for one to two hours, but you can't really clamp this. So we are using some masking tape to secure it into place. And this worked for us and we let it dry for one hour. We also added some Gorilla Glue around the bottom. So after one to two hours, you can go ahead and take off your masking tape and it should be completely dried and beautiful. So next we're going to take our soap. This was just some extra bath and body work soap we had lying around from a sale. You can use whatever you have, or you could definitely try the clear soap that comes in the huge tubs because that looked great with the frosted glass. So go ahead and pour in your soap and just put your lid on and then slide the ring around it and screw it into place. And it's that easy. So that was pretty easy. It actually is so easy. <laughs> I want to make one for every bathroom in my house. It's a good housewarming gift, yeah. especially because like we're young, so you don't really need to give like good housewarming gifts. Yeah, you just need to give like a little something, if anything. And it's not like you don't have soap. It's like here's better soap. Yeah, here's a better, cuter way to have soap. And how cute is that frosted glass, though? You can do though, dough. Yeah, you can do that frosted glass technique to any of these mason jar DIYs, mm -hmm. and it'll be useful. I'm just going to frost everything. So we also have three other mason jars in this year's series that we will link at the end. And we have done two other series of mason jar DIYs in previous years. So in total, there are 12 mason jar DIYs that you need to go do right now. That's a lot of mason jar DIYs. You'll, you'll be busy all summer. JK, mm -hmm. you'll be busy for a week. But then you can make all of them. 